separation techniques. Objective. Describe how to separate homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. Magnetism. Magnetism can be used to separate mixtures that have one component that is magnetic, for example, sand and iron. Metals such as iron, nickel, and cobalt have magnetic properties, while gold, silver, and aluminum do not. Physical property used to separate these components is magnetism. Separatory funnel. A separatory funnel can be used to separate two liquids that do not mix, immiscible liquids, for example oil and water. The physical property used to separate these components are solubility and molecular polarity. Filtration. Filtration can be used to separate components of mixtures with different sizes, for example sand and water. Particles smaller than the filter holes pass through and is called a filtrate, while the component that remains behind on a filter paper is called the residue. Physical property used to separate components is particle size. Crystallization. Crystallization can be used to separate homogeneous mixtures such as a solid dissolved in a liquid, for example salt and water. Heat is used to boil or vaporize a liquid component, resulting in the solid component remaining behind. The physical property used to separate components is boiling point. Chromatography. Chromatography can be used to separate a mixture into its individual components. Paper chromatography uses a strip of paper, which is known as a stationary phase, and a solvent, known as the mobile phase and via capillary action it is used to separate the components of the mixture. Substances separate based on their interaction to either the stationary phase or the mobile phase. The physical properties used to separate these substances are solubility and molecular polarity. Distillation. Distillation separates mixtures based on the different boiling points of the various components. It is usually used to separate a liquid from a solution, for example, alcohol and water. The mixture is heated and the vapor is recovered by condensation using a condenser. Water is used in the condenser to flow around the vapor in order to cool it back into a liquid. The physical property used to separate components using distillation is boiling point. Fractional distillation of petroleum. Crude oil is a mixture of many hydrocarbon compounds. The use of a fractionating tower allows the separation of this mixture, which is based on the different boiling points of their components. Here, the distillation of crude oil can be seen where crude oil is fed into a furnace, which is then fed into a fractionating tower, and the different components that boil at different temperatures are extracted 